Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Sag, you guys got Rhino Spirit overcome any obstacle number fifty. It's interesting. You got a five, seven, six. So you have five, six, seven. I honestly think that if you were going to progress in this way, five, six, seven, that this would be really positive. This is somebody who. I feel like it's fearful of a commitment, fearful of being in a relationship, but I feel like at the end, they're going to let go of their fear and go towards commitment. But did you see the order that it came out in? It was like, it's still, there's an unsure energy. And I feel like because the rhino's in the middle of this, I feel like the obstacle for you, Sag, I feel like I'm talking to a masculine Sagittarius. The obstacle here is, do I want commitment or do I care more about the things like there's something here sad where it's like you think that if you are in a commitment with someone you can't like do the things that you want to do right or you can't be yourself or you're just very fearful of this commitment that's what i'm getting and that's why the obstacles in between the commitment and you i feel like you're the bear like you like to be the dominating one and it's not i don't think it's a, ne a negative dominance but it can be because it could be positive if you're like working with someone and you have this very like dominating character i feel like it could be a little bit attractive to someone but at the end of the day you're gonna let some of that dominance go for a relationship so i can see it being positive kind of trying to work with someone um letting the ego go a little bit letting that nature within yourself be present but in a helpful way whereas here it feels like you're more interested in what you want not really sure if you can make your lifestyle work with someone else's and in that there is a problem because it's like it's never wrong to choose yourself over anyone it's not wrong but in this instance it's like what are you unwilling to let go that is not letting you be be in a relationship so there's something here that you just don't that's why i'm getting with the edge you don't want to let go of something and that's where the block is because in order to work with someone else you have to kind of you know it's like in anything in life right like if you're a prod you're in a project and you're like in the fourth grade i don't know why i'm getting the fourth grade but maybe the fourth grade was relevant in your life i have no idea i just thought fourth grade right away if you're in fourth grade and you're working on a group project right there's a difference between like doing everything yourself and working together with others right working together with others you kind of split the responsibility i think you also maybe someone is like you know let's just say someone's going to draw in the project and someone else is going to i don't know do the writing two people are going to do the writing and another person is going to um make index cards for the presentation right and let's just say you thought that you were like the best drawer, but someone in your group is a better drawer, right? Like they're better at painting and drawing and they're, they're like, I really feel like I want to be the one to paint and draw on the project. I feel like you can either help out, right? And be like, well, I really want to help with the painting too, because that's what I wanted to do, right? Or you can be like mad about the whole thing and be like, I didn't get a role that I wanted to get, you know, in this project and it's not fair. Or you can just be like, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can take it, right? Or you can admit like this person draws better. Let me do something else. Like there's so many things in a group project. There's a lot of dynamics. And that's why I think a lot of people hate group projects. I mean, most people hate group projects because a lot of people don't do shit. And a lot of people feel like they wouldn't, you know, they're like, oh, I'll do it better than anybody else can. And I feel like that's the problem here. Like you're like, I'd rather just be alone. I think I work better alone. I think a relationship would like like just slow me down or not help me or not facilitate me in all these ways and i just rather be alone and that's why i'm getting sad with you but i think it's actually becoming a block at this point because if it wasn't a block we wouldn't be talking about it right now <laughs> and they wouldn't be called an obstacle and you wouldn't be sitting at a five a five is a conflict a five is a challenge right a five is you know <laughs> It's an upheaval, right? Something that you have to like overcome. And they're saying overcome any obstacle. So the obstacle here right now is you. Again, I feel like the order should be five, six, seven, right? Numbers should be going up towards the 10. The 10 is, you know, the, the end. And then we start at a brand new beginning. 
So I feel like if you were able to get this going with somebody, you could be in a 10, you could start something new, you could have a new adventure, have a new journey in your life, start things in a different way. Um, but I'm afraid here with the way that this came out that you're gonna choose yourself and not this person. That's what I'm getting with the Sag. Let's pull some more cards though and see what we get. Again, there's nothing wrong with choosing yourself, but I feel like you having chosen yourself over and over and over again, it's not a positive choosing yourself. It's a way of like taking yourself away from others, isolating yourself. That's why I'm getting isolation. Um, and that's not necessarily healthy to like always be isolated, to always have these excuses why you're not working with others. Oh, I work again. This is like pure isolation. That's what I feel like you're just maybe too afraid. So you isolate yourself. That's literally what I'm getting with this. Let's pull more cards though, Sag. So Saj, there's you and this person who are doing this very odd dance with one another. Um, and I feel like you guys f affect each other more than you know. Your energies really affect one another um, and sometimes in a very negative way. And that's why I'm getting like you guys have the chance to be very positive with one another and to change each other's lives for the better. But because of pain and because of anxiety and because of like her energy and because of like past energy, even the two of you do this dance of just hurting one another over and over again. So I don't know if this is necessarily a very positive thing because um, I just see a cycle of hurting one another and not, you know, you're not pushing through this five. That's what I'm getting. You guys keep getting stuck at this five. And I feel like, again, it's not fun. <laughs> um, and you guys are coming up as a true pair. You have the sage and the crone, right? So there you are as a true pair. Um, so you guys are very similar. You know, you're very similar to one another. The fact that you're coming up as a true pair indicates that you're a soulmate. You know, this is your soulmate in some sort of sense. It could be a karmic. It could be that you guys are karmics with one another, but I'm not getting that at all. I'm getting that you guys are just actually soulmates. And you have the king and the queen of air, right? Another true pair. So what I'm getting with this is that this person makes, I'm going to be speaking as if I'm the masculine, but you can be the feminine or the masculine, choose your energy. I'm going to be speaking from the masculine because in the meditative session, I was getting the masculine energy a lot. And I was saying they might be Virgo or Cancer and they came, the feminine came up as the queen of cups. So I'm definitely feeling like this feminine energy has water in their chart or they're just very in the water element, right? Which is very emotional. They show, you know, they show their feelings. Um, they tell their feelings. They're very communicative about feelings. Like they like to, you know, I feel like um, it's very different from this um, air that we're getting, queen and king of air. They might have air in their chart, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they might have water in their chart, which is Pisces, Squ Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so what I'm getting with the feminine, the feminine here are, is sitting in a five. Remember I said you guys are both sitting in a five? In despair so I feel like this person is very has been very depressed this relationship has caused some sort of like depression or like sadness in this person's life and they are trying to change like they're trying to move out of that energy you see them going from the five to the nine which is really positive um, and then with false person I feel like they see you as a false person Sag usually when I get the false person card I feel like it's this person that I'm talking about but for some reason I feel like with this person they they look at you as the false person do you see how there's a masculine there with a mask on i feel like they think that you're the one wearing the mask like you're the one that can't show your emotions you're the one that can't be real with them because they're sitting in fives over and over again see look another five of cups i don't think that they're necessarily a false person again maybe you sag view them as the false person but what i'm getting is that they view you as false because i feel like you turn on their emotions you turn on like their heart in some sort of way but then you never make it past the five right so the six the seven the eight the nine the ten nines like putting in you know nines wish fulfillment 
um, eights, balance, seven. <laughs> I just feel like every single number that's like really positive, you guys skip. You guys just like dwell in the new beginning and then you come to this challenge and conflict and it ends. You can never pass it. Look, they feel, just, they feel sad over this ne male energy, right? So you can have Aries in your chart, you're coming up as the emperor. But yeah, they want to leave. This feminine energy wants to leave this masculine behind in the past. But, and they've made that decision before to leave this person like in the past. Look, they've, they've been very decisive, right? But they have gone back and forth about this relationship, back and forth. And now they're trying to find their King of Cups and their Ten of Cups, right? So they're trying to find their true pair, someone who is going to be equally as emotional, someone who's going to say, you know, I feel like, you know, I love you. I want to be with you. I want a committed relationship. That's what I'm getting with this person. You see the Ten of Cups, there's like a marriage and a child and shit. This person is looking for their equal pair. And even though you guys are coming up as an equal match, right, with the king, with the crone and the sage, with the king and the queen of air, I feel like your relationship is just all air energy, right? Or all sage and crone energy. But where's the cup energy, right? Where's the fucking love? Like, that's what I'm getting here. You guys can't make it past the five because you guys can't decide, I feel like, on this commitment, right? So somebody here, like, wants commitment and there's never a commitment here. And that's literally, I feel like this feminine, this feminine wants this ten of cups, this feminine wants the king of cups, this feminine wants someone to reciprocate what they, what they give in the relationship, which is love, right? They're not talking about communication, which is air, they're not talking about sage and crone energy, which I feel is like experience, right? It's like, I don't care about the experience that you've had in the past, I don't care about like what you have to say either, I just want you to show me how you feel, like show me in actions, right? <laughs> I've been getting that a lot this week. Like, show me in actions. Like, words are great, but show me, right? Like, it's just reminding me of Beyonce, like, the, the ring song, um, if you liked it, right? Whatever that song is. Like, that's literally what I'm getting with this. Look, they're manifesting someone who's not confused, someone who wants to take them to that level. That's what this feminine is manifesting. They're manifesting their king of cups, they're ten of cups. Like, that's it. This feminine, I feel like whoever this feminine is, they're tired of going back and forth in this five energy. The five energy being like the challenge of the conflict. Whatever the challenge and conflict is here, I already told you in the meditative session, I feel like the challenge for this masculine is like choosing the commitment, choosing the relationship over themselves, right? Having to make changes for this person. And this masculine energy, for some reason, you, Sag, I feel like you don't want to do that or you're afraid to do that. But now I see, now let's see the masculine's energy, right? Because the masculine is also having a hard time here. I think the cards are like this. Yeah. So then we have the masculine energy here. You guys are coming up with the five of swords and the ten of swords. So you guys have felt betrayed in the past. It could have been from this person or from a past relationship. But you guys have had actual betrayal in your life. These are really like negative energies. Anxiety over love. Anxiety over relationships. And this is why you're coming up as a sage with experience. You've had the experience of being betrayed. You've had the experience of being hurt. And you don't want to go through that again. So your higher self is telling you. In your mind, your, your higher self is telling you don't do this relationship, don't be with this person. But what I'm getting with this is it's not your higher self, it's your fear. Your fear is telling you not to do it because you're coming up with the high priestess. The high priestess is your actual intuition, right? So although you think that your higher self is telling you not to do this, I feel like with the high priestess and the ace of cups, in reality, you should be taking this opportunity right but your fear is like turned on especially with this person because i feel like you think they're too good to be true or you, maybe you do know this person really well because you guys have seemed to be going in one to fives you seem to be going in circles you and this person over and over and over again where none of you both of you can't make it past the five you can't make it past commitment to, to towards commitment you can't and I'm not going to put all the blame on you, Sag, but there is definitely like a dance here that's like very toxic because it just feels like someone here wants commitment, someone here wants a relationship, and someone here seems to not be able to do that because they're afraid, right? So then we have the true pair. Here, Here's the queen of swords again to the king of swords. And look, this person, all they want is for someone here to put work in, right? The seven of coins and the eight of coins. This is like putting actual work in the 3D. This is like, okay, like we're going to put work into this. We're going to make this work out. Um, and then we have the seven of swords with the hermit. So I feel like someone here always ends up sneaking away. Like someone here always ends up not completing the cycle. And then someone has to go into hermit mode to heal. And that's why I feel like this is a toxic cycle because 
it's just two people dancing in fear or one person is, i feel like the masculine here is the one that's more in fear and anxiety because you have the swords and as as one person wants to put in work another person just runs away and i feel like that's you sag actually um so yeah see you're in you're torn in between like you have all these like opposing energies like contradicting energies you want to talk to this person um because they do bring you happiness they do bring you wish fulfillment and then you run away with the page of swords in reverse then you want to be stable like you're like okay maybe i can be stable with this person maybe i can create some sort of stability in like some sort of home with this person right and then you shy away from it i just feel like you keep you keep coming up as these pages in reverse right and pages are pages in reverse i don't necessarily like because they talk a lot about like this immature energy within right pages are can be seen as immature um and upright they can be seen as very positive because they're the ones that like dream they're the ones that have the fantasies of doing things they're the ones that like you know you can't just like go do something that you didn't think of first right they're the ones that come up with those imaginative ideas and those fantasy those fantastical ideas right they're they're positive in that way but because you have them both in reverse it seems like either you can't really make an apology here or you, i feel like you just cop out every time like you just run away from this person every single time and i feel like this queen is tired of chasing and i don't feel like the queen should chase the feminine energy is supposed to receive and the king is supposed to chase if anything not chase but like give out energy so it just seems right now that even in your 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 negative here feminine and masculine energies are con like reversed right the masculine is supposed to chase and the feminine is supposed to receive but you're not the masculine here is not doing anything the masculine here is hiding or running away so i feel like you know masculines that you're supposed to sit here and be you're supposed to make a final decision on this and that you can't keep this person kind of dwindling um and the only way to really end this cycle is to be open to love and to step out and to you know it's either you're gonna remove yourself from this person's energy for the rest of your life and like give this person the chance that they deserve towards finding that ten of cups right which is this right here like either give them the chance to find this person or be this person but that's all you can do this person is expecting a king of cups ten of cups this is uh you know everything the ten of cups is the happy family with the happy home um the king of cups is someone who's gonna give them that love in return so you can either let this person go find that and give your, yourself a chance to start new and you go find that as well. And maybe it's just the two of you that trigger one another to a, such a point where you can't work with one another anymore. Or you guys are going to have to have a conversation about taking things to the next level. And I mean, everything here is telling me that, Sad, you have to you have to be open to it, though. Like you have to be open to this relationship. You have to be balanced. Um, I just feel like you have to make that decision to balance yourself out or this is never going to work. And again, right now I feel the, pop, the the feminine and masculine energies within both of you guys are like very messed up. Like it's supposed to be, again, the feminine receives, the masculine does the action. And right now I feel like you're, whoever this masculine is, they just want to receive, 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 and then they run away, which is not fair. And I can see why this feminine just keeps cutting you out of their life. And why, even though you might approach them in this like very beautiful energy of like, hey, huh, remember me? And then this person like falls for it every single time. And then you don't give anything in return. You know, like you, you end up either using this person or just having like a good time with this person for one day. And then you end up disappearing. And this is very inconsistent energy. So I feel like, again, either you're going to be that ten of cups for this person or you're going to have to leave this person alone. That's why I'm getting Sag. So let's pull some advice. You already know what you have to do. Um, you either like decide to leave this person alone so that they can find their ten of cups or you can be that person again. But that only happens by opening yourself up. Um, maybe you need to do some healing. Yeah. So you guys have Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. See, yeah, there's something here about how you're not being your authentic self. You're not being, again, you just run, there's a Sag here that runs away. When it's time to like put in work, when it's time to get past the five, someone here just runs away every single time. And again, this is the time to break that cycle 
of running away, right? To overcome this obstacle, it's taking a look at them in the mirror and deciding to do things differently and not allowing yourself to make excuses for yourself. Um, I was watching this thing yesterday and it's like, people create labels for themselves so that they can make excuses for themselves. Like, well, I'm just, you know, I just have ADHD, right? Like they were talking about ADHD and like all these other um, things that people like to label themselves. Like, oh, even like astrology, right? Like he's like, oh, I'm Taurus, you know, I have to stay home. Like I hate being out. Like, like these labels should never be a reason or an excuse to why you guys perpetuate a cycle that should be over, right? So if you're, you know, this masculine energy, you're very fearful. Um, you have a lot of pain, you have a lot of hurt. Either you haven't healed, right and you you're still you're still circling in trauma so you have to heal right um and you have to stop like making excuses for yourself like well i'm just a bad person that's like some of the thing else like i can hear somebody say oh i'm just a bad guy you know that's what i do like these labels that we create are supposed to help <laughs> i feel like i'm thinking like medically right they're supposed to help in some sort of medical <laughs> way like oh you can categorize somebody and put it on somebody's like sheet or something like there's no reason for you to use these labels and say like oh that's my scapegoat that's my cop out you know like oh too bad like that's who i am i'm just a toxic person like don't deal with me you know what you're gonna get with me like that's not fair especially if like this person seems to have a lot of love for you and they see something within you that i don't even think you see within yourself you know like they see they see something that they see potential i guess in you right and you're supposed to love someone, I always say this, you're not supposed to love someone for their potential, you're supposed to love someone for who they are. And I feel like this person does love you for who it is that you are, but you, you're not giving this person anything in return. So this person is gonna have to end up leaving at the end of the day because this person wants that 10 of cups. This person wants to make it to the 10, basically. And you, you seem like very adamant about staying in a five. So it can't, it can't work out, right? Energy-wise, people are, you're not putting in the same amount of energy one person is sitting heavily in like receiving energy and someone's sitting heavily in giving and it's not fair, it's not reciprocal. So again, this, this can't work out. You know what I'm saying? I see the feminine here ending up um, in reverse, right? So the feminine just feels like, okay, like I have to leave. I can't, I have to take myself out of the situation. It doesn't matter how many times we try this, it doesn't work out. So to be honest, Sag, the only way that this can work out is for you to be authentic to who it is that you are and who it is that you are. I feel like maybe you don't even know because I feel like there's sides of you that you don't, you haven't even explored or you're sitting in a cycle of trauma that you have to get out of so that you can try to like start a new cycle for yourselves. And again, I don't know if it can even be with this person because I feel like this person is already kind of reaching that point where they're going to meet that 10 of cups, king of cups, because they've been sitting in that energy of like, that's what they wish to receive. They're sitting in magician energy. That's what they're manifesting, right? So I feel like they understand that that's not going to be you. You know, they have, they've come to the point of realization where there's like, it can't be Sag, you know? I love Sag, but I can't, I can't wait for Sag forever. So again, maybe once you finally get out of this cycle, this person might still be around. I doubt it. I feel like you might have to find someone new, to be honest. Um, again, and that's, that's something that you have to decide. Like, you have to decide who you're going to be. And if you can be this that person for them, and if you can't, then you have to let them go. Do you know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. Like until you're ready to heal, until you're ready to get out of this um, cycle of trauma, because I feel like that's what it is. You're just you're sitting in a cycle of trauma here. Like you are making it to a ten, but a ten in pain, <laughs> a ten in not not having been healed, a ten in not and, and a ten in betrayal and anxiety. So if this is the cycle that you continue to perpetuate over and over again, um, it's just unfair to anyone who's around you because like you're not you're not getting into a new cycle. You're stuck in an old timeline. So until you decide to heal, I just I just recommend like letting go of this person. Um, again, they say to write. So. Perpetua is always talking about writing. So if you find it hard to connect with yourself, even though I feel like your higher self here is telling you what to do, they're telling you to take this new offer. But if you find it hard to listen to that higher self of yours or you don't understand intuition and you don't understand your gut feeling, you don't understand any of that, then what I would say is like, write. I think that's why Perpetua really came out. Write down, just write. Just start writing. Don't think about what you're writing. Just write down anything that comes to your brain and I feel like if you reread if I, if you write like 50 pages of just writing shit down let's just say like every night before you go to bed you write a page right um in like two months right three months you're gonna have like 50 pages of words 
go back and read those words and I swear to you, you're gonna know yourself better. You're gonna figure yourself out more. I did this once, I like I didn't know I was doing it obviously, this was like back in the day, but I, I used to write a lot and I have a whole book of like me being in love with someone and at that time I didn't even know that I like liked that person like that. Um, they were just my friend, but like everything in the book was me like, <laughs> like talking about how much I like this person so it was just hilarious at the end of the day to go back to that book and see like all these love notes to somebody and I was just dying laughing because like I had no idea like we were just friends at the time and I, I was like not allowing myself to be anything but a friend to this person and it's just so funny how like in love I was with this person and I, I read it a year later like at the end of at the end it didn't even matter at that point but yeah it was just so sad to like find out like all the shit that I felt um, a year later and it was like way too late do you know what I'm saying and I could never communicate it to this person because they were my friend but yeah that's what I'm trying to say like if you write down shit every night um, you'll figure out how you feel and hopefully it won't be too late but if you already know that you can't pass this trauma and you're stuck here then I would just not talk to this person anymore like if they reach out to you because I feel like they do care just don't answer them <laughs> because I just feel like you can't give them what they need do you know what I'm saying Anyway, Sag, not yet. Anyway, not yet. Not until you heal. So yeah, Sag, I love you guys. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.